just gotta add x y with height not a cow cow not a cow cow cow, cow, cow. oh 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 my gosh it's finally working why did i spend an entire week doing this this was such an awful idea <laughs> okay this is like my thousandth th okay this is like my thousandth time recording this now i was supposed to give you some background or something I, I don't care anymore. I'm just making an AI that kills cows. It's it's that simple. Okay, let's get to the video. The new account is made. So let's go ahead and log in. Here we go. First things first, looks like we need a name. Mm, what about cowkiller69? Oh, it, shoot, it's taken. Well, that's fine. Let's try something else. Something like this. Oh, and that's also taken. That is a crying shame. What about this? Nope. 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 Oh, yes. I will take it. That took a bit longer than expected. <laughs> you guys have no clue how many names I sorted through, but we have it. So let's get to it. And with this, we can cue the tutorial montage. There we go. We got our handsome man over here, chilling in Lumbridge, almost ready to get started. Let's just head over to the cow pens. Ah, there they are. Let's go in here and get ourselves a little bit warmed up. Reset the gears a bit, if you know what I mean. Get this cow, slap him around a bit. And he's down. Let's just make sure we pick up the bones and pay our respects because we are going to be killing a lot of cows over the rest of the video. Anyways, with that, let's get into it. So I've actually paused this for a second because I wanna break this down and how this AI is gonna work. Now, look at all these lovely cows. This one here, 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 and here. Oh, and there's one more here. Do you notice anything similar about these cows? Anything that might uh, catch your eye? That's right, they're all brown incredible observation. And you might ask, Ian, why do we care that cows are brown? That's a great question, my friend, and let me tell you why. Because we can filter out all the other colors here and just grab that lovely, lovely brown and maybe a little bit of white. And that can be our AI's eyes. How, what a better way to see than to only see brown. It's incredible. Dare I even say, it's beautiful. Now that you know that, pop a squat, let's open up a new project, and let's get started on this. Now that we've got a new project open, we want to do a couple things. We can start by getting the offset of the window, and this will tell us where the RuneScape window is on the actual screen. And once we have that done, we can get all the pixels on the screen, so we can then later feed those into our AI, and that will be how it sees. Here, you can see representation of each of those pixels. We have red, blue and green columns expressing how much of each color is coming out in each pixel. We can head back on over to RuneScape because we need to clip a nice little picture of these cows so we can figure out what shade of brown we actually need to be looking for. So let's clip this. Now we can jump back into the project and get this image loaded up in the project with just a line of code. Why is it blue? Oh, I figured it out. And with that, we can use an image editing library called OpenCV to bang, bang, bang. And there we go. We can make a mask that shows us exactly where the brown is in this image. We can also do the same thing for white. And when we put these babies together, look at that we know exactly where all the brown and white is. But wait, you say that 
if you were a chicken crossing the road with such awful vision, you would die? And to that, I have to say, yeah, yeah, you probably would. I mean, what the heck were you expecting when I said you would only be able to see the color brown? Heck, YouTube's just a side project for me. Maybe if you would like and subscribe, we could do something about this, huh? Yeah, that's right. Go do it. Subscribe and like the video. <clears throat> well, anyway, now that you've taken care of that, there is actually a little something that we can do about this. We can use two post-processing steps. First, erosion to clean up the noise, and then follow that up with a dilation, which will fill in the areas around the cows. Now we have a much more beautiful mask to work with. Now we can add several lines of code to draw boundary boxes around these cows so our AI can actually tell the cows apart from each other. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's try overlaying this on the actual game. And there we go, baby. Woo! Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. This, this is actually great. We have the bounding boxes and I just put something together actually that I can put on the screen right now to show you all this all working side by side. And <laughs> I don't know about you, but I think this is just awesome. It's so stupid. It really is but it's great. It's incredible. And with this, we can now work on what you've all been waiting for, or what I've been waiting for, at least. It's time to actually kill some cows. Woo! All that's left is to add some code that will allow this AI to move the mouse and click. And I mean, we've come this far. How hard could that be? This should definitely work. Enough. <laughs> it's working. It's working. I, I got it working. Okay. I'm sorry. I might have gotten a little bit carried away with that. Not going to lie. But this is it. Look, I just changed this to say click. And when I run this, Keep your eye on the mouse. Bang. You see that? I didn't move that mouse and it wasn't a ghost. And that's not all actually. It was at the cost of getting absolutely ravaged by Python errors. But I also strung together the code that finds where the cows are to the code that clicks on things. And you know what that means. We are ready to rock and roll. So let's pull up RuneScape, cross our fingers and give her a go. Okay, you might have noticed that uh, didn't quite work, but that's okay. Let's uh, let's give it another go. Oh, <laughs> oh shoot! It works. We finally got it. I'm uh, going to be honest. I'm not sure that was worth oh an entire week's worth of my work, but <laughs> I mean that's it. That's all we wanted, and I guess that means this is the end of the video, or it would be if there wasn't a lot more we could actually do here. We may have succeeded once, but those of you that are perceptive might have noticed the reason this didn't work the first time. If we actually go back to see the bounding boxes we were drawing, you might have noticed that we aren't capturing just cows, but also lots of other things like flowers and parts of the UI. Remember back, we never actually specified a way to differentiate between brown on a cow and brown on something like the UI which means there's still more to be done. So if you're interested in sticking around for part two, where we're bringing out the big guns, some good old machine learning, definitely like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And you can experience the joy of watching me hand labeling hundreds of images of cows, because why would you want to watch anything other than that? Anyway, this is the actual end of the video. So if you've stuck around till now, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. It really means the world to me. And if you like and subscribe, uh, 
that's even more incredible. This is my first video in a, an entire year actually, and I wasn't planning on coming back to YouTube, but it was just seeing the comments from people every week saying how my videos had helped them out. Um, it was really incredible and made me want to come back, and it's why I'm here now. So uh, thanks for sticking around, and I hope to catch you all next time.